Hi everybody, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director 18, looking at some of the new features in the program. We're here at the welcome screen, and the welcome screen is virtually unchanged, although there are a couple of noteworthy additions. Number one, you might notice that listed among the aspect ratios available for a new project is one by one. We do a separate tutorial talking about creating a one by one or a square project. There's also a link to the Learning Center. It's a great place to pick up information on some of the um, new features or some of the old features too, for that matter. But let's go ahead and open up the full mode. And here we are in the full featured or timeline interface. And there are a couple significant changes to the interface. For one thing, there is a long time eccentricity in CyberLink Power Director, kind of unique to the program, and that is that the timeline builds upside down. In other words, the lowermost track, track one, is at the top of the timeline, and then the tracks that you lay on top of it, whether it be titles, or whether it be a video that you're gonna use for a picture-in-picture, -picture, or a multi-track effect, these tracks are actually layered on top of track one, below it on the timeline. Now, if that bothers you, that's simple enough to fix now. Just go up to the cog at the top of the screen to open up the program preferences. And here under editing, you have the option to reverse the timeline track order. This puts the number one track at the bottom. And now you have a much more traditional timeline that builds from the bottom up with track number one at the bottom of the timeline and then the other tracks layered on top of it. Also, one thing you may notice over here on the preview window, there are audio meters. If you're not seeing the audio meters, just go over here to the preview window display options button. Click on that and you have the option to turn on preview volume meters. These little meters here appear in the lower right hand corner of the screen and as you play your movie, they will actually indicate the volume levels for your movie. Very important to use meters to monitor your volume level. Don't trust the sound in your speakers or your headphones. You have to watch meters. You want the sound to come out like this, full and green, occasionally in the yellow, but never peaking in the red. Over-modulated audio is going to give you some problems. So that's a nice subtle feature, but one that's certainly welcome. Finally, you can undock the windows. So we've got the various rooms here that we can scroll through. We also have our timeline, we have our preview window, and we can now break them off simply by right clicking on any of the panels or inside any of the panels and selecting the option to dock undock library window. So now we've got our library window here with our various rooms as a floating panel. So if you've got two monitors on your computer or if you've got an extremely large monitor, and you want to create your own custom interface with these windows floating around, you can do that simply by selecting any one of the windows and selecting the option for it to be a floating window. And you can then kind of lay them out however you'd like to lay them out. This is particularly helpful if you're building a large timeline. You can put your timeline on a separate monitor and then widen this timeline out so that it occupies your entire monitor and you got plenty of room to build there. To reset the program all you need to do is right click within any of the windows you have the option to either dock the window or redock it into the interface or even select reset in which case all of them go back to where they were so not huge changes but certainly some interesting new changes to the interface here in version 18 of cyberlink power director now if you want to know more about the program or everything about the program be sure to check out the moviepix.com guide to cyberlink power director it's available at amazon.com i'm the author steve grisetti hope to see you again soon